So I met Gina at a farmer's market in December 2010 in Los Angeles, and at the time he was only a four-month-old puppy, but um, he didn't have his teeth, which is what he's known for. He has a little signature smile, and um, I just knew that I wanted to foster him, which was my original intention. I wasn't planning on adopting him, but I took him home for a few days, and I knew right there that he had won my heart and that I was going to love him unconditionally. That's a great question. So when I first started Instagram, I um, didn't have any intention to garner a large following at all. This was when Instagram was fairly new, but I had acquired a year's worth of photos of Tuna, and he had a really unconventional look, and so I knew that that face of his would bring people a lot of joy and laughter. So I started the account, and a year later it went viral when Instagram featured him on their personal page, and he went from 8,500 followers to 32,000 in an eight hour period. And then from there, it just kept growing. So it's been a really cool journey. So I like to celebrate Tuna in a lot of ways. Um, I just mentioned that he has a really unconventional look. Um, his teeth stick out because of his overbite. So I like to celebrate that um, different is beautiful. And I try and encourage my Instagram audience to kind of ad adapt that same mindset because you can you know get a dog from a breeder but there's so many amazing dogs out there that need rescue that maybe have like one eye or um, just a funny overbite but I think it's important to celebrate the differences and then I also um, like to celebrate the fact that he is a rescue dog and I use the platform to raise awareness for um, rescuing and I think that rescuing is kind of something that a lot of people aren't planning on doing but if they do rescue, um, there's a lot to consider with that as well. Yeah, so I mentioned earlier, I think it's important that your dog gets to smell out um, the space that you're inviting him or her into, and also just like having play dates with any existing animals that are in the house. Um, for me, I wasn't prepared to adopt him. I knew that I could love him with excellence, but I, I didn't know if I would be able to handle it financially. Um, that's why I think It's a Dog is like the coolest thing right now because I wish that it was around when Tuna uh, was first in my home um, because it's just such a great place where you where owners can find different resources and um, tips on how to house break a pet and how to just welcome them into uh, an existing space and there's a bunch of essentials to help your dog be welcomed into your new home on itsadog.com. You can go to itsadog.com and right now if you create a pet profile for the pet gift registry then um, from now until October you can um, there's a sweepstakes for up to $500 where you can win for your pet. It's just really amazing.